final day. Golden monkey trekking in Volcanoes National Park. Hopefully this is the easiest of the three because uh, we've done two pretty tiring treks already. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully this one's an absolute breeze. So yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, a few groups of them have been traded here on the random side. Uh, some researchers have found that we might be having about 3,000 monkeys across these mountains. Been visiting them since 2006. That means they are quite familiar with what is happening when there are people around them taking their pictures. Usually they are in the large groups, so about from 30 to 200. So we're having our particular group today that has about 100 individuals. They are living in a bamboo forest. Don't expect you to go uh, to the top of the mountain today. Uh, they live quite low and the bamboo is the first vegetation zone. If you go beyond the bamboo, you won't find any monkey. And uh, we have to drive from this place. Uh, 15 minutes drive, then we, are, we get to the next starting point, uh, a place where we usually have uh, porters, for those who choose to have porters to carry your backpacks. Uh, there are trackers who have gone already out. Uh, they will search in all the corners, and then locate the place, then tell me uh, where these monkeys are, then I'll lead you straight where they're going to be located today. here at the starting point ready for the golden monkey trekking so we're just waiting to get going we're here with the guides and also the porters uh, so yeah we're just uh, hanging around in this little village near Volcanoes Park and we're almost ready to go In an insane level of Western privilege, as you'll see here. <laughs> the porters, there's nothing they wouldn't do. Including fours and carrying someone in their private bed. <laughs> Unbelievable. It can be stick, it can be GoPro, it can be 360. Didn't bring my bed though. Not bring your bed. Should have brought me bed. <laughs> The top of this volcano touches on the three countries, Uganda, Rwanda and the Congo. What is the name? Sabino. So sometimes the gorillas, they can move up, but it's not easy to like it. Here we go, ready for the golden monkey trekking. <laughs> Everywhere you look in this area is a photograph opportunity. This one plant yeah. can produce more than two kilos. Really? This one. Yeah, that's, right. like, that's a lot of food, isn't it? Yeah. Kinigi. Kinigi. No, this is not Kinigi. This is a different variety, which is called Gikungu. Oh, Gikungu. Which means something to do with rich. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you rich very fast because it's very productive. Yeah. So this is the Sabio, is it? Sabino. Sabino volcano. So this is the volcano that borders onto Congo, Rwanda and Uganda. And you can hike it if you wanted to. You can even see clouds forming right in front of us. That's amazing, isn't it?
before 2003, that's when they built this wall. Uh, buffaloes were freely going out. Then these people couldn't grow anything, so there was a conflict. So they had to kill them, to go hunt them, bring meat home to eat, until the government decided to stop that by building this wall. That's the reason why we have a wall here. It means the other side is for animals, and then this side is for the community. Otherwise, we are soon getting to our monkeys. You saw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the tree moving a lot. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So we just finished the golden monkey trekking, always good fun watching the monkeys jumping around in their natural habitat. Um, got probably a couple of thousand other photos to get through now, but so that was really, really good fun. Great thing about this is that you can get really, really close to the, to the monkeys and they don't seem to mind at all. I mean, you could probably just get photos with your iPhone or your smartphone quite easily, but um, I think a 70 to 200 lens is probably the perfect lens for this because you've got f2.8 and you're going to be in very, very low light conditions for this. And um, absolutely recommended when you're coming to Rwanda or Uganda or Congo or any of those places where the golden monkeys live in and around the forest of the volcano and just so much fun spending an hour with these uh, monkeys in their natural habitat. And yeah, it's a really good way to round off the trip. How'd you find the golden monkey trekking then? It was amazing, they're very cute. Yeah. The good fun. Yeah, yeah lots they're of fun. Starting around all over the place. Yeah. So 
just constantly jumping around, foraging for food. Very difficult to photograph. Yeah, you need, to, yeah, need to be very quick. Yeah. Or be patient, just stay in one place and let them jump in front of you. Very yes, flat, flat very easy thing. trek actually, yeah. So a good way to round off the trip with a nice easy uh, uh, trek up into the forest. <laughs> Sabino. Sabino. Sabino volcano. Countryside, the surrounding countryside here is just out, just amazing. I mean, it's mostly agriculture. As you can see, there's uh, cows and sheep and goats. Lots of crop fields, potatoes and runner beans and all sorts of things that they're growing here. Just incredible. Found the pub. Let's get in there. Sabinho pub. Come on, let's have a, let's have a quick, let's have a quick pint before we head back. Okay. We're back at the lodge. We need to get changed quickly. Uh, we need to have a lunch very quickly as well and we need to pack and we need to get uh, on the road and head to the airport. What a trip. Three days of trekking. We've seen chimpanzees, gorillas and gold monkeys. I mean, pretty good trek. It's expensive but uh, unforgettable. The end of the trip, heading back home. Get the bag. <laughs> Which weighs more? Luggage or backpack? I think my backpack weighs more. <laughs> Lunch? Yeah. What did you order? I can't remember. <laughs> so you found something else? Beer. Beer. <laughs> yeah, great, thanks. Nothing like a bottle of Mutzig before I journey back to the airport. Cheers, Rwanda. Nice to meet you. Good boy, Sparky. Oh, good. <laughs> good boy, Sparky. Goodbye, little. Goodbye, Sparky. Boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs>